Hi folks, um, so if you're looking for a job, um, you're in the right place. Uh, this, these are our sponsors, our wonderful sponsors, and they've been given approximately two minutes each uh, just to pitch what it's like to work at their company and, and that sort of thing. So uh, essentially, uh, I'm just gonna, um, like I said, BMC. So uh, you've got two minutes. So Umnitsa, are you here? Yeah, okay. So here we go. How do I make it? How do you put it into presentation mode? Operation. Operation. Slideshow. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, so we're Mitsa. Um, we're new enough to Ireland. There's only about 25 of us now in the company. It started in America about 10 years ago. So we're um, what we like to call ourselves is an ITAM, IT Asset Management. I've heard it called ITAM as well. I don't know what the O means. Um, for myself, I'm a software engineer. Uh, I've been working there a year. Um, we've got pretty good benefits, um, good salary, and this is kind of what we do. So we manage your assets, users, um, software accessories, shipping. Uh, we can automate the whole process from onboarding and offboarding. So we have workflows that can say, go into Google, we'll connect up to Google, we'll connect up to Slack. We can onboard and offboard users. Um, if someone needs to offboard, we can filter their emails back to their manager, what's all that kind of nice stuff. So our back end is all Python microservices. Uh, our front end is React with JavaScript and we're agentless. We just connect out to third parties like Google and Slack. Um, this is kind of what our customer will see. So this is our product, runs on an EC2 instance. Um, each customer will get their own product with their own little microservices on that EC2 instance. Um, and very quickly, if you want, these are a couple of roles that are open in Galway. All the roles are remote, so you don't have to move to Galway. Uh, it's a plus if you do. Um, and if you want to find out about more roles, the website is there. And uh, stop by the boot. We're the first one as you go in the door downstairs. So we're always there and off to the crack. And that's it. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Umnitsa. And next up, we have Bank of America. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Floor's yours. Hey, folks, thanks very much. Um, my name is James Shields. I'm from Bank of America. Um, so uh, we have uh, multiple roles open in risk and finance technology, uh, heavily Python-weighted, uh, Python or full-stack engineers. We're easy on both. Uh, we also have a, uh, a dev lab, which is essentially uh, either an internal consultancy where we can spin up a, you know, a, a quickly mobile team to, uh, to work on a, a line of business problem. You know, typically six to 18 month engagement. Uh, and we also do R&D in there. So we would have, uh, internally the bank runs kind of multiple internal competitions for AI, ML, cloud readiness, containerization. Um, we've won a couple of those out of, out of Dublin. Um, like I said, multiple full stack roles, uh, drop by the booth. We are uh, just as you walk in the door to the left, uh, with full list of open roles, uh, can pretty much accommodate all seniority, junior to uh, distinguished engineer, you know, whatever you've got. Uh, so thanks very much. Thank you. It's only a minute there. Okay, so next up we have Channable. <laughs> Two minutes starts now. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Jill, recruitment at Achenable. So I'm here, yeah, of course, to let you know a little more about what we do at Achenable, which is in the e-commerce field, and more specifically, feed management. So we help companies selling their products online. With their software, they can upload their product and product information, and then it gets pushed in different marketplaces. You can think of Amazon, Google, Facebook, but more than a 1,000, actually. This is what we use. So we facilitate this process. We make it, uh, yeah, we use automation. We help companies save a lot of money, resources, and time as well. But yeah, we do that with um, yeah, 200 and more uh, like-minded people from 37 different nationalities. We mainly work from our office in the Netherlands. And yeah, we all very different, of course, but as I said, like-minded as well. We keep our values very close to our heart, 
Uh, so focus, care to share, grow, own it, and of course enjoy it, because work is nice when you enjoy it. And we focus a lot on personal growth, because that's when channelable grows. And care to share, I think, is the one that we keep the closest to us, because it's a very open culture, and it's always possible to walk to your colleagues, ask for help, and uh, ask to share their knowledge. Uh, we work a lot with Python, and we, have, uh, we are always looking for, for new channel people, because, well, we're growing really fast, and the integration team is the one that uh, is the bridge between uh, the customer-facing team and the actual developers, and then we also work with Python software engineers, so in different sections of the tool. So there's always room for everyone, so come to our booth, come talk to us, to our developers, and we'll be happy to let you dive in into our tool. Thank you. Two minutes of judges, spot on, well done. Great sense of timing there. Okay, so Numberly, are you in the room? Yep. Okay, let's get you up. Okay, your two minutes starts now. Two minutes? Two minutes. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, so my name is Romain Messon. I'm a software engineer at Numberly. And um, what we do um, at Numberly, we're very proud. We've been sponsoring the EuroPython comp uh, conference uh, since 2014. Uh, we uh, really enjoyed it, and we wouldn't see uh, it uh, any different way. Uh, what we do, are, uh, what we do uh, basically, we are the marketing company uh, that apply technology uh, to help our advertising uh, customer uh, do relevant um, campaigns and target. Uh, there could be email uh, campaigns, that could be uh, banners or digital advertising. We're trying to use data as much as possible. That could be CRM data or traffic uh, com coming from their uh, website that we, that we track and trying to apply a lot of um, technology on, on that. Um, not going to go into too much details. One thing that we like to say also is that we're trying to be as technically, technically independent as we can uh, and develop in our skills. Uh, we operate our own uh, infrastructure, our own server that we manage ourselves. We have a big uh, infrastructure team and you can see the, the photos we had a tradition where people are when we're killing uh, some, uh, some old servers, we actually, there's always a, a photo, cool uh, tradition of uh, showing yourself with uh, the server you actually killed. Um, uh, don't worry, the no cable were actually armed uh, during uh, the, the shooting. Uh, we also use a lot of open source uh, technology. We use them a lot. And, uh, all right, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, we use a lot of uh, open source technology. We try to contrib contribute as much as we can. Uh, and that's very important to us. Uh, we are hopefully, we've already seen our booth. Uh, there's a, we have got a game going on and there's a prize, there's have some prizes to win. Uh, we do uh, recruit a lot of pro different profiles from software engineering to uh, kind of all the flavors of data jobs that you can think of, a data engineer, data, data ops, and uh, data scientist and data analyst. Come to see us at the booth 17. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Renaissance, sorry. Okay, when you're ready, your two minutes starts now. Hi guys, I'm Dave Barry. I'm VP of Engineering at Renaissance 3. Renaissance 3 is a very small company. We've got about 700 employees, but we've market capitalization of 18 billion. So we've got big fin finances, but very small organization. As a company, our purpose is to protect uh, communities and to enable prosperity. Uh, insurance is a very altruistic industry, so if you work with us, you can feel really good about the work that you do. Uh, we have offices all around the world. Um, our head office is based in Bermuda. Anybody that joins our organization gets a one-week free trip on the first day with the organization. Sorry, no, that's not true. But many of our engineers <laughs> do end up going to Bermuda to work. <laughs> um, so what's reinsurance? Reinsurance is all about trading risk. So what that means is that as an insurance company, <clears throat> if I insurance, insure, for example, lots of properties in Florida, I'm very exposed if a hurricane hits, so I want to um, diversify some of that risk. So what I'll do is I'll come to a reinsurance company like ourselves, we'll purchase that risk, maybe a portfolio of insurance policies, and <clears throat> um, we help diversify risk across the industry and, our, and across our own business. Um, the problems that we work on are really complex, analytical, and quantitative. Um, problems, so the really interesting engineering problems. One example of this is a process that we have called the risk roll-up, 
where we look at all the data across our organization every evening. We quantify all the risks of everything that uh, we insure, and we work out what that risk, what that risk is like, <coughs> what that risk looks like across our business as things change on a day-to-day -day basis. So this particular example um, we're looking at, uh, we've got 1.7 million nodes. We've got 5,000 nodes operating in parallel. They, they're Lambda functions running on AWS. Uh, as an organization, we embrace cloud-first serverless architectures for all our new applications. Uh, there's 4.5 <clears throat> million dependencies across 18 different statistical models that we use to, to assess that risk. Um, so we have a very, very small number of roles available to the lucky candidates. If you're interested in talking to us a little bit more about these roles, or in talking to us just about reinsurance in general, we'd love to have a chat with you. Our engineers are on our booth downstairs. We're at the back of the hall. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> and apologies for the mispronunciation as well. <laughs> oh, right, okay, well, there you go. I'm an idiot, aren't I? Uh, rapid ratings, then. <laughs> are you here? Good. Okay, two minutes starts now. Great stuff. Hi, I'm Dermot from Rabbit Ratings. I'm one of the architects uh, in the company. Um, we're a small enough uh, engineering presence in Dublin. Um, all tech and engineering is based here. Um, what Rapid Ratings does, uh, we do, uh, we're a fintech company. We do supply chain risk. So we uh, rate all your suppliers for our clients and uh, give them back a nice score between one and 100. And uh, the tech we're building here in Dublin is all based on uh, Django and Flask. Um, we're fully Python, fully in AWS, uh, kind of rolling out with Kubernetes for deployment. Um, Marin had a point, or Marin and Carol here are HR and head of engineering. Um, Marin wanted me to point out about some things that people like to say when they leave, uh, which is not a thing to put at a recruitment session. But <laughs> he said like, that like, everyone's uh, very friendly. It's like the most uh, common feedback uh, that like, everyone's there to kind of support each other, um, which is very true. Um, we've a fully work from home uh, company, I guess, culture uh, since the pandemic hit, and that's continuing on. Um, but we keep in contact uh, constantly through like Slack and Teams. Um, and we are down in our boot in the forum um, at the back on the left. Um, so please do come down and talk to us if you're interested in finding out a bit more about what roles we have on offer and what we do as a company. And we'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. So Optum are next. Okay, take it away, two minutes. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> on the two minutes. So I'm Jason Hopped, uh, Chief Data Science of, Scientist of Optum Tech. So I'm gonna kinda just jump into it. Assuming most people haven't heard of Optum, it's part of United Health Group, which happens to be number five on the Fortune 500 list. So this year we'll probably do about $320 billion in revenue. So we're not a small organization, right? Just to give you that example. And Optum is more than half of United Health Group. United Healthcare is the health insurance arm. Optum is the health services, the providers, the RX services, basically that ability to help people live healthier lives and how we can do that hospitals, clinics, any sort of service that we can think of. As you can see, we touch almost 130 million people with our services. So we're not a small healthcare organization. Our objective is to help people live healthier lives. So one thing that I think is interesting, if you look at what we have available, we've got about 77 openings right now in the Dublin office. Some of those are also available in our UK office. More than about half of those, Python skill set. Perfect folks sitting in this room with that ability, right? On the right, we go in a little bit of an example. Again, we're looking at for folks that are kind of maybe beginning their journey all the way up to the VP level, right? Some of the things that we work out of the Dublin office, just to give you an example, about 20% of our, the intellectual property for the entire UHC organization is filtered through our Dublin office. On my team, I have distinguished engineers, VPs of engineering, that have that ability to understand new technology. In healthcare, we do natural language processing on calls to try to make it better. 
We help nurses help understand their patients better. We do clinical risk for our providers such that they can give the right information to the right members, the right patients at the right time. A lot of great opportunity to make people's lives better. So full stack, data engineers, data scientists, we've got it available. Come down to the booth. We're way in the back, a little to the right, and we'll give a little bit of chat on that stuff. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Should give out a prize for the person who gets closest to two minutes. So next up is Workday. Come on, internet. Okay, two minutes left there. Uh, hi. So. Um, uh, I'm Caroline Howland, I'm a software engineer in Workday. Uh, Workday are an industry leader in enterprise and cloud software. Uh, our, UK, our EU headquarters is in Smithfield in Dublin. Uh, we have a beautiful state-of-the-art office, um, but we also have flexible uh, work from home uh, options and schedules. Um, our customer community represents over 60 million uh, workers globally. That's 60 million people logging onto Workday every day, getting paid, managing finances, and applying for jobs. Um, we have almost 2,000 employees uh, in the Dublin office and growing. Uh, we have over 90 nationalities uh, in Workday Dublin, which makes a really vibrant workplace with lots of cultural uh, celebrations throughout the year. Uh, what makes Workday different is uh, the different people. Uh, is we, what makes Workday different is our people uh, and we, the investment we make in our people. Uh, employees are the most fundamental core value. Uh, we invest in career growth and development uh, through training and our career hub, which is accessible through our Workday product. Um, our employees can find gigs which uh, can develop their skills and they can work cross-functionally. Uh, through, uh, between teams. Uh, we also um, uh, take a skills-based approach to hiring and ensure everybody has an equitable opportunity. Uh, one example is our Opportunity On-Ramps program, which is dedicated to creating economic opportunity for all, including on-ramps, uh, provides internships, uh, and on-the-job training, and full-time employment to untapped uh, talent and diverse backgrounds. Um, so work there committed to benefiting communities we live and work in. We work closely with um, uh, secondary schools um, and uh, primary schools in, in the area. We also work with Caption Centre for Homeless People. We're hiring across a range of teams at the moment and we'd love for you to come talk to us uh, about Workday. Um, Vibe is the value, inclusion and belonging and equity um, diversity uh, organisation at Workday. Um, and we have some key initiatives uh, that have been driven through Vibe, including the Inclusive Mind Workset. Um, career development and internal mobility is something we foster here and we have employees who have had rich careers across different teams. Uh, fun is also a core value. Please come talk to us at the booth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay. Optiva. That's you. Come on then, Nico. You've got two minutes starting. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Nico. Sorry, I'm going to. Uh, when I'm not organizing Python events, I work at Optiver. <laughs> I'm a leading infrastructure. Um, that's my LinkedIn, probably. <laughs> so Optiver is a trading company uh, originally from the Netherlands, in, uh, in the main office in Amsterdam, but it's also offices all around the world: Chicago, London, Shanghai, Singapore. I think now. Um, we are a market-making company. That means that we are we participate in many, many exchanges around the world, and we are always offering prices for every all the instruments that are available in those exchanges. And um, we are always there to sell or to buy if anyone wants to do that, and we get a few cents of commission for that. Um, we use Python a lot. If you the company is using a lot of C++. Uh, and, you know, FPGA is that kind of thing, but Python is the second, the second language. In infrastructure, where I work, is the probably the main language, right? That's, that's the one that we use the most. Um, and because you have a full stack, like you know, from the lowest hardware, custom hardware things to the highest level of research, you have people doing infrastructure, people doing provisioning automation, you have people doing research and doing like back testing uh, and training models. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, yeah, there is 
many, many roles. There is two that I'm highlighting here. The first one is an infrastructure software engineer. That's my team. So, uh, and we are building automation because we, we, we use bare metal infrastructure. And the second one is a production engineer. Those are the, the people that is, they are working together with the traders to manage our production environment. Um, if you have any questions, there is a booth here with a decent amount of engineers, or yeah, also find me. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. On the nose there. Okay. Uh, penultimate, we have Hudson River Trading. Yep. Uh, what's going on here? Always happens to me. Why does it always, it happen, always happen to me? To you. Yeah. Oh, it's a PDF. That's why. Uh, right. Can I uh, no, no, no. download it? Scanning for viruses. Oh dear me. I hope there's no. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So if you um, what is it? F five? No. That's not it. F eleven. This is fine. Honestly. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm so. I think there's a button on top. One of, yeah, the play button. I think. The, the, that one, the, in the corner. This one. That one. No, that one. Yeah. Ah, awesome. There we go. Hey, thank you. Right. I'm an idiot again. No. There we go. Your two minutes start now. Okay, hey everybody. I'm Jackie Leesman. I'm a technical recruiter here at Hudson River Trading. Uh, so basically, if you haven't stopped by our booth and you don't really know who we are or what we do. Uh, we are a fully automated electronic trading company. So we don't have any products, we don't sell anything, we don't have anything externally facing, we just basically trade using algorithms and models. Um, and all of our pretty much tools are built in C++ and Python, actually mainly Python, which is why we're here. Um, and we are expanding our uh, basically operations in uh, London and Dublin quite a bit. But a little bit about us just very quickly, trading is used to look like this on the left. A lot of people buying and selling, yelling, you know, in a big trading floor. Now it looks a lot like this on the right. Um, and we were a big part in making that happen. So we use basically advanced math stats, uh, really powerful computers, a lot of them, um, to trade basically anything you can trade electronically all over the world. So we think that uh, machines and um, you know, coders are a little bit better at making decisions than humans and traders are. Um, here are some of our open roles. So we're hiring pretty much everywhere. We have offices all over the US. Um, in Europe, we're in London and Dublin. Um, and then in APAC, we're in Mumbai and Singapore as well. Here are some of our roles. Um, again, pretty much all of our tooling is built in-house, um, all in Python. So there's a lot of really interesting problems to solve, a lot of really cool uh, stuff to do here. Um, and we're a pretty fun place. I mean, we're very much, that's actually me in the corner there on the left. Um, we're a very, very much like kind of tech company first. Um, sort of trading company second. We're not at all like a finance firm, which sometimes has like kind of a bad uh, reputation. We do a lot of fun. We have a lot of like inter-office events. That's our office in New York City on the bottom right. Um, and we have about uh, 800 employees globally and around 150 or so between London and Dublin and looking to grow those uh, quite a bit. So we're a very fun place. Um, a lot of cool problems to solve. Very technical, really tech first. Um, and feel free to stop by our booth to meet us and answer any questions. And there's our career site. Thanks, everyone, so much. In the nose. There we go. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we have R. You're okay with just the website? Okay, so. Um, this one? Oh, do I want to take a survey? <laughs> yes, please send me my donkey cleaning kit immediately. Okay, spam me with everything. Okay, come on, are you coming up? Yeah. Okay, two minutes, start now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, hello everyone, I'm Leandro, I'm a software engineer at ARM. So uh, ARM is most uh, known for the hardware architecture, so that's the company be behind ARM ar as an architecture. If you have a smartphone, you are using ARM uh, products. If you use a uh, cloud provider these days, ARM products are very popular there. If you have a smartphone, IoT devices, um, so we are everywhere. And um, so in the company, uh, we have 
positions uh, all across from, from hardware to open source um, and uh, through all the ecosystem if you want to work uh, with Python. I thought I'd better just uh, why not do a live demo that always goes well and then we can go and ask for Python positions. Then we have uh, 146 open positions that mention Python in one way or another. So if you work on infrastructure, if you work uh, on hardware, if you work on open source frameworks, there is uh, a job there for you. And uh, I'm, uh, so we have no booth, but uh, I'm around and I, uh, I'll be here also tomorrow. So um, stop by and have a look. So that, that's me, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so thank you very much to our sponsors um, for sharing that, that information with us. I encourage you all, if you are looking for a job, to go check out their booth downstairs. Um, we have perhaps a couple of minutes left of this session, so uh, I think we managed to do it all on time, really. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for your attention, and thank you again to the sponsors. Thank you.